morning, good evening, good afternoon, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Marcel Loaded, and we got back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year to my beautiful people, and we are rejoicing in 2021. Hopefully, good things do happen, and we are here. We're within and within, within. The I am not alone. I'm joined by Shay Shay. Okay, um, today we're gonna be uh, reviewing the best songs of 2020. Not our favorite songs, but our best, like the best songs of 2020. And might I say, this is not us criticizing the artist. And if your fave is not here, it's not a problem. If they released a good enough work mentality, we are just judging the art, not the artist. So first on the list, I do think we have to start with like the biggest collaboration of the year yeah. um, with uh, Miss Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Grand, they joined forces on Rain On Me, Ray, Ray, but you know, I'm not the seamstress in this situation, <laughs> but we'll let the slide, but I do believe that collaboration was actually like the best, point. the best, and I wasn't like, I wasn't expecting Ariana to like Join forces with Lady you know, Gaga. Like, you know, I don't, like I don't they have know. two different personalities, Ever. but they're so inclined together. Yeah. And I do think that was one of the best songs. Even like I think it was my most streamed song of yeah. the year because it has to be because we support queens, we support queens, and queens have been through a lot. So yeah, and obviously Miss um, Onika Tanya Maraj, like she has to be available in this list as per usual and she did bless us with like a solo track this year what? X. X? exactly yeah like like the red miss chan lee came back <laughs> and she shook up the year of course of course Bro. she had to do that with yeah. uh yeah, yeah, came out in feb it did yeah. come out in feb and that's the only solo project that she released this year not only was were the verses so claps on a certain boyfriend mm -hmm. but and we do know where boyfriend is but we're not here to speak about people who have died mm -hmm, yeah and yeah but and then we do mm -hmm. have to move on i feel like chloe and Haley like did the best job in from music video to lyrics to choreography that was just like the best it was the bomb like i really really enjoy the music video more than listening to the song i feel like the song is more enjoyable when you watch the music video like it was such a moment to witness yeah. these two beautiful kings come and this because you know <laughs> they could be kings okay, okay because okay. they say Beyonce said black is king okay. so it's fine we'll <laughs> keep them as kings because yeah. they're royal but for me I, I truly think um yes do it was a very very powerful force but if you do listen to their like like fifth sixth I don't know what album there is but ungodly hour that was the masterpiece but the song that really stuck up to me on that album, it was still on Chloe and Ali, is Tipsy. Tipsy is a song where yeah. both of them are speaking about a lover, which if it, they truly say, if like if you if you with me, <laughs> you will die. And Explicit. Like, dude, <laughs> you will literally die because yeah. that's something that you have to do. And moving along on the list, Ooh. we have Cardi B. Featuring Megan the Stallion. Now from the top, make it drop. That's some where that's some um, apparently that's what my Max did this year. So yeah. it's fine. Apparently. <laughs> but uh that song and uh, you know we love when two black women come together yes. and they speak about their dominant phase and what they really, really want. Although Miss Cardi did like um seem like she doesn't know what's the name of that little dingy thing that's swing on the back of your throat. <laughs> but we gonna let that slide and the savage remix. Next on the list, it's one of the best songs of the year. Obviously, because you know, obviously, you know, the two Texas girls came together yeah. on a song where actually they brought up their flavors because the song sounded perfectly. Yeah. Both of them, they sounded melodic. From inclined. vocals, from vocals to rap to. Did and Beyonce did like, came and spit bars on that song. Like, she spoke about only fans, like, which I didn't think she knew about because you know Miss B is yeah, prestigious like, and she's well censored and respected. But she did get a little nasty, and we'll have a nasty girl <laughs> yeah. in that sense. <laughs> the next Ty Dolla Sign featuring yeah. Onika Tanya Maraj. Expensive, because you know that verse. That verse. It's iconic. It was a bomb. It's iconic. Yeah. And she did that while she was pregnant. Yeah, I think she was like, like seven, eight. Exactly. Seven, eight time. months. 
pregnant, yeah. Because you do know it's an expensive face, an expensive taste, <laughs> an expensive queen. Yes. Although we may look cheap, but we feel expensive inside. Miss Ariana Grande did came through with positions. Switching in positions. I, I do think, although people say <laughs> that's like the weakest thing and uh, everything, but I do think positions was such a moment where she truly expressed herself in like yeah. the most playful way that she could and yeah. although people were mad saying that it's like the weakest blah 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 but we as people differ in like opinions and what we hear but if it wasn't your best it was our best it so was. you know she did get her coins from yeah. the song and it's still on the charts still even today yeah and it's still dominating i feel like the music video was so iconic exactly presidency it is so iconic presidency especially yeah. the time it was released when like the elections were taking place yeah that was so genius and she although she was switching positions but also she was switching positions in the white house she, yes. she was a chef she was the president she was the yes. dog like she yeah. can see her girl can be I the dog Watcher. So and she, you know, Dave Miles really did that. The director, shout out to yeah. him. And Moving on to the next song, we have my favorite rapper of all times. That is Drake. Love now, cry later. Guys. Dude, <laughs> that song hit the charts. I don't know. I, I don't remember, but that song was dope as fuck. Okay, sorry. But but <laughs> but but you do know what's the iconic thing about that song? That was. Yes, Baby. you. Yes, yes. That yes. alone can make. Like, I think if like everything was open and yeah. the clubs were popping, and then we have this like pause for a moment yeah. and for that baby a and moment. I feel like I feel like it was one of the best songs from his. Was it an album or EP? I think it was an EP. It was an EP, yeah. And yeah, the thing EP. about it that was the best. that that song even the feature of Lord Drake like he didn't sound yeah. like he was not supposed to be on the song he sounded perfectly on the song because yes. this was nice and short yeah. and Drake wasn't Drake as per usual but yeah. although Drake makes a lot of mediocre music lately but Love Now Cry Later is truly one of the best songs of the year on the list we do have Miss Dua Lipa Miss Dua Lipa Red Levitating and no matter where I am, what am I doing? I'll always find a moment to groove to levitation because you want me, I want your baby, my sugar boo. I'm levi this. I, I do think this is like Dua Lipa's best, like best song of the year, like mm -hmm. in like her entire discography because she is like the new girl dominating in the streets and that's on motherfucking period okay next on the list we have saweetie featuring the one and only jenny aiko and it was actually quite a that surprise that she actually featured jenny aiko on yeah, that song it wasn't like it wasn't because expected we know saweetie is like the wretched wretched wretchedness queen yeah and she does ratchet very very well and jenny aiko is so modest and she's so toned down and she's like a Disney princess and you wouldn't expect yeah a Maleficent to actually join forces with Cinderella yeah so it's like they are two different people exactly. like totally different but actually back to it was actually a great collaboration between it was. the two of them and the music video was Dude, because dope. it seems like they were on clouds but I do have to actually put this out there because I do think that one of the best songs of the year by Saweetie has to be tap 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 in where she actually resembles back to like her wretchedness because she actually tells you that never let a broke nigga take you on a date like the fuck who's gonna pay exactly <laughs> my point with the cherry yes. on top yes. because and I like that about her because she knows with what she's worth mm -hmm. and you as a person know your wealth dear child if he's broke or if he's broke uh -uh, never broke me take you on a date next on the list we have a collaboration which i didn't expect like it was actually quite odd mm -hmm. to see davido actually coming voices with the generous queen mr nika tanya Mirage, Nikki. and my holy ground no, yeah, like niger to the world that alone speaks volumes because you know the queen likes yeah. african people and africanness yeah. and a sense of africa yeah. and by the point of view and my point of view i do have to say that we do we do not live with lions by the way although we do live with elephants and giraffes like we can see them running around the streets but anyways mm -hmm. not their child but i do have to say uh the song was actually quite nice it was actually enjoyable from the start yeah. to the finish you where you didn't have to skip between Nicki Minaj's verse and just leave the songs because there are some songs which are just like that although the song actually got better with her verse but Davido did 
his thing on the song and it was really quite beautiful it was so unexpected like i never Dude. expected the video to like feature because you know when it did come through with point of view yeah point of view because that's one of her best songs in a long time since thank you next yeah. where she you know that era you know mm. and point of view is such a great song because she speaks about she wants to love herself mm -hmm. in your point of view yeah. like the song is such a great song because even melodically although it's a ballad and she speaks about her lover in a sense that i want to see myself the way you see me because i don't love myself enough and she the way she starts the song is saying that you've got superpowers Turn my minutes into hours You got more than 20, 20, babe That alone speaks volume because you know my girl like, loves love And she loves being in love Lastly on the list I do think this was actually the best song of the year mm -hmm. Because it took everyone by storm At that very moment um, The weekend, Blinding Lights Because you do know she, 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 she did it to serve That song is so beautiful inclined and even the beat keeps you going and the way he actually enunciates his words yeah. and everything is on point and everything is on a checkpoint and it's really the best song of 2020 mm -hmm. so yeah that's that and with all that being said we have come to the end of our hmm, up and down list of the best songs of yeah. 2020 20 yeah. and that year truly was a roller coaster ride because child everything was going from left to right mm -hmm. although side to side was released in 2016 but it felt like we were being fucked by the year <laughs> so a whole lot of penetration was going on okay but then we came through and we're still here so we are looking forward to 2021 and what we have got in store for this year and it truly really was an amazing year so please tell me do tell me in the comment section below what are some of your best songs of 2020 and what do you think about our list that we actually compiled and we actually came here and delivered to you but for now from me master reloaded and miss shay shay right here we are signing out wait and Guys, please do please do follow me on Instagram. It's Lishe Lishe underscore Mdambo. And it's right here <laughs> on your screens. You, yes. can, you know, some people Down just below. never see mm -hmm. a moment for promotion. But anyways, we are not that child. Uh, so for me, Master Reloaded, and thank you for joining me today and actually it was being a like the first and official guest for this iconic yeah. moment because I think it's like the 50th video. And it's thank so you to honest. everyone. And please comment down in the comment section below what you think about the video and tell me what you, some of your best songs of the year and what you think about 2020 as a whole. Yeah. And for me, Master Reloaded, thank you and please come again. <laughs>